Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Stacks Space. Um, I'm gonna launch into this and I got a lot of thoughts on this game. We're gonna skip the tutorial. I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to play it. Um, I've been in um, talks with the dev. This uh, key by, provided by the dev. Thank you very much, dev. Appreciate you. I hope you don't hate me by the end of this video. <laughs> um, because I got some cruel things to say about this game, but also I, uh, I don't know. I, I, I've got... I've got a lot of thoughts, and not all of them are going to be coherent, is all I'm going to say. Uh, you're an astronaut surviving on the planet Altair, Altair for three and a quarter, I don't know, three quarters. Mine for resources such as plasteel and nanocarbon. Expand your base with the help of drones and bots. Visit strange and fascinating places. Discover the secrets of the intergalactic travel. <laughs> Do not forget to stock up on energy cells to keep your spacesuit drones and bots charged. Uh, check your diary for quests and ideas. Press pause and rearrange cards when needed. Unpause to uh, the game to allow crafting. So, uh, you know, I do appreciate that. I appreciate that we can do some crafting um, in between uh, while we're paused. Um, I'm going to talk a lot about what I do like about this game, but also a lot about what I don't like about this game. Um, but first of all, we're going to play. We're going to play a little bit of this, um, in about ten or twenty minutes, and then maybe I'll, I'll get my thoughts out there. Click on the starter booster pack. We've already done that. But um, here's the first. Uh, I'd say this is like a small minor bug, is that the quest isn't completed until time has passed. So that's a that's an issue. Um, so another issue I have personally is that um, the game keeps switching to my diary and ideas when I want to. Uh, look at my quests. Generally speaking, I think the quests serve as a, a better tutorial than the actual built-in tutorial because it just tells you what you need to do instead of like, uh, I don't know, having this pop-up that's like, I wouldn't say missable, but like it's not really part of the UI. It's not really part of the, the design of the UI. And it can, it'll tell you like recipes and stuff, but I actually find that is like less intuitive than just kind of following a list of instructions. Um, but either way, I, I find that the quests are useful or easier to uh, follow, personally speaking. Drag the astronaut on top of a ch uh, ch uh, crust chunk. So let me let me talk a little bit about this while while uh, some things happen. You may uh, notice some similarities between this and uh, another game. Booster is now available. Research and design. Thank you for that. Um, yes, this game is very heavily influenced by. Uh, Stacklands and I think that uh, I'm just gonna say this right away that I think if you are a, a fan of Stacklands and You want more of that experience that uh, stack space is actually pretty good um, I think that it's it's a good kind of uh, you know uh, Progress you know, it's it's a good follow-up game is, is what I'm gonna say um, Is it exactly the same as Stacklands actually no? Um, but I think that the differences are are a little bit surface level and I'm I actually think that that Goes to hurt this experience a little bit and I'll talk a little bit about why Um, so we've got our astronaut right now the astronaut is serving the purpose of our villagers from Stacklands. Uh, however, they are built different is all I'm going to say they have stats and um, we can increase those stats and we've got some stat boosters from various uh booster packs we've received for completing some quests which is nice we can give those to our astronaut and they will uh, be improved uh, our astronaut has needs uh, much like the villagers in Stacklands. the needs are different though we don't need to feed our astronaut at least i don't think so uh maybe i haven't gotten that portion of the game yet but we do need to power our astronaut he's got um energy needs and so we have these energy cells that we need to um kind of uh maintain a constant supply of um, we are getting a lot of booster packs and there's you know probably because we're completing a lot of quests so we need to process plasteel into electronics so we've got these uh, these are like little minor events that i actually do appreciate i think that they're a good addition to this format um you know like having these kind of little random things i, I suppose similarly it's like when you're attacked by pirates or uh, you know when you're attacked by creatures, but there are good events in this as well as bad that you know Just kind of give you stuff, which is really nice So the first thing we're gonna want to do we want to well, we have some electronics We don't really need the electronics right now. We want to make a service drone check ideas for the recipe um, So we're, we got our drone here plasteel electronics astronaut and energy cell Okay, so we're gonna have to follow that to the T so you go plasteel electronics 
Um, I'll let my my dude here finish his, his job and astronaut and then energy cell now here's here's my first issue is I'm just gonna say that this game is far less kind of like I'm not gonna say accessible but intuitive than Stacklands and it's not really fair because the thing is is that um, Stacklands used very obvious theming and I talked about this during my Stacklands series is that the the theming for Stacklands was very wisely chosen because it's easy to understand or it's easy to kind of figure out crafting recipes when you're dealing with like sticks and rocks and you have to feed yourself and you kill the crab and the crab gives you crab meat and stuff like that you know it's very like um it's very like easy to to kind of get through that theming it's it's easy to um interpret that you know and that's why it's a good tool um for the player but when you get into stuff like plasteel nanocarbon electronics helium 3 um i i won't say that these um aren't real at recipes i'm not going to go that far i wouldn't say that uh they don't really they, they you know that these are not real things that you know people do or use uh, on a daily basis they, they're just not um and so they tend to, that, that tends to make for a little bit less of an accessible experience um okay so we've got our new drone drone bot i haven't done anything with him yet but we now have to power him um so we're gonna have him work on the um ore deposit and meanwhile i'm going to actually was i working on another drone no i was working on i believe a solar panel what was i working on I guess I was working on an assembly line. I don't really want that. What I do want is a solar panel. So we're going to do that. So we need for solar panel, two plus steel and nano carbon. The nano carbon is actually quite rare. It's uh, harder to come by than some of the other stuff. So we got our drone. The drone works exactly this, similarly to the astronaut. Um, the nice thing is that we can make drones. They do require power. Um, but they don't really have drones have like kind of a set combat prowess this game has opted for um, You know like a, as I say stats and um, And also like weaponry like we've got ex uh, accessories uh, much like the the, the upgrade in uh, Stacklands. stack um, And so you can upgrade your your uh, astronaut your astronaut is very flexible He's 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 got stats that you can upgrade this the drone not so much the drone once he, they're made um, they, they, they pretty much are exactly as they will always be. You can make better drones. There's like blade drones and combat drones and all kinds of, you know, fun stuff that we can make. Um, but you know, we gotta, we gotta work up to that. So when you make your first drone, they're going to have like power requirements and they're going to eat your power up a, a little bit. Um, but yeah, they're, they're not going to be able to help you so much in combat. They, they're not useless. But, uh, you know, not as much as some of the combat drones. And then the combat drones, I have to assume they, and I didn't get that far really, but uh, they, they are not as useful for like, you know, um, get, getting you resources or working on resources. So we're going to need a refinery. Uh, this is two plus steel. Oh, wait, no, this is, uh, produces unobtainium. We don't actually need obtainium yet. Let's look at our quests instead. Process plus steel into electronics. Okay, let's do a little bit of that. Um, this is our solar panel and like right away what you want to do is you probably want to set up uh, You want to have a bunch of drones um, We're gonna set up another drone here uh, and we need another uh, Energy cell and we're gonna make another drone and you want to have a drone basically right away on solar panel so that you have renewable energy Which makes sense, you know that uh, that makes sense the energy is our like our main um required resource and so like once we get that set up then um you know we're, we're good to go our, our first like survival box is checked so why don't we go ahead and make another solar panel we got two plus steel one nanocarbon and an astronaut that that'll be fine we can do that and that way we can have um both of our drones working on solar panels just to kind of check those boxes You'll notice I'm, I'm deliberately not stacking energy cells, or maybe you won't notice that. I don't know, um, but I'm letting you know about that because uh, there's a there's a weird quirk about it. Um, energy cells like to turn into a multi cell, and I have to ass assume that multi cells are um, required for some kind of recipe. But um, you can't split them 
once at least i can't figure out how to split them once they're they're turned into that and i need the energy cells for crafting recipes so i find that to be a little bit um you know not not a, a great solution uh and this leads me to kind of like my second problem is not only are the recipes not intuitive on a thematic level um they're not intuitive in a in a mechanical level because the thing is is that not only do the ingredients matter for a recipe um but also the the order of them matter and also like things can just get kind of like get auto crafted and turned into something else and it makes for an experience where it's like you're trying to figure out what you're doing we've got our first um creature uh i should have made a uh a weapon i don't think we actually have the ability to do that yet because we don't have the recipe that's fine. We should be able to take this guy out. It's just a bacteria. Yeah, he was instantly killed, which is good. Uh, I think what we'll do is I'm going to maybe work on a cloning vat. I think that's what we want to do. Um, cloning vat is three plus steel, biomass, and astronaut. Three plus steel, biomass, and astronaut. That's not really... This isn't going to make a clone. Um, it's just a, a, gives us the ability to make a clone. We're also going to need to make um, very as soon as we can um, a storage container, and those do exactly what you think they do. They um, increase our uh, our inventory space, but it looks like I don't have the ability to make that. So, um, is that going to be in here? No, it's not. It's maybe it's in Let's Mine Unknown Cards Three. These are unknown or known cards. We have all of these. But what I need to know is how to make a uh, storage container. So let's sell some of our plasteel. Oh, we, we do have some boosters. Probably one of these. Oh, these are stat boosters. Okay, well, let's... let's give, we should probably save some of these for our future um, creatures or whatever you want to call them. Let's throw, do some Let's Mine. We've got some um, crust chunks. Great. Um, yeah, so just to like put a cap on my my thoughts there I I think that um, having the recipes be like, you know um, I don't know how to put it positionally like Necessary like what what to you know, see these cells have now automatically crafted and now they're stuck like that I don't know like I've tried double clicking them and I don't know if there's a way to split them apart But now they're just stuck like that and now they're basically worthless for a lot of our uh, needs they will they'll, they will be used to refuel everyone so at least they're not completely worthless but in terms of like needing to make stuff they're they're not as helpful so i like to keep the energy cells uh separate so we do want to make a weapon um let's let's look at our quest again plus process plus steel into electronics okay that's uh that's actually probably a good idea let's do that and that'll give us another booster and we got a first aid kit um, pretty obvious what that does. And then we'll look at our next quest. Uh, I do find it scrolls to the top, like, immediately. Which, and, I don't know, scrolling doesn't seem to work so well with this. I'm gonna be very nitpicky because a, some, a lot of these, like, UI things kind of mount to a hilt a little bit. Five cards too many. Well, I wasn't able to make my thing, uh, my, my storage container. So we're gonna have to sell some stuff. Um, I don't want to sell our first aid kit, but I mean, it's, it's good money. We can probably make, make it again later. We'll sell some chunks. We'll sell two chunks. The chunks are mined for more resources. Okay. So we're, we've got some electronics. We're still making energy cells. I guess, you know, having a constant supply of energy cells means we will probably always have some energy cells. Build a storage crate. Um, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't want to tell me how to do that. Buildings. God, this scroll bar is like such a problem for me. All right, hold on. It's supposed to be in buildings. I can search it up, but yeah, nothing. So I think I'm supposed to f discover it. Uh, unknown cars one. So let's look in let's mine. Let's see if it's in there. Um, it might be that it's. I don't know. I, I don't think there are any ideas in there. I think that that is just 
yeah okay so that, that gives us helium three helium three we can use to make more energy cells if we want to it's like kind of a uh, a little stopgap. Um, let's go ahead and process crust chunks. So now we're we're really over our card limit. Oh, we got Regolith. Regolith is quite good. Um, but we're running into a problem here. I need more money. Okay, let's let's see if we can't. Um, well, we're gonna sell some stuff. I want to get researched and designed. See if we can't get a storage container. Idea shredder. What is this? Temporary card. Ticks left 30. I don't know what that does. Um, foundation. Temporary card. Ticks left 30. Assembly line. Plus steel nanocarbon. We need an assembly line, but we don't have one yet. Uh, a rover is an interesting idea. Um, basically provides us with, like, more resources. It's not something I've made yet. L let's see. What does the shredder do? Shreds bots and drones into pieces. Okay. That's neat. Rover nanocarbon energy cell. Well, we don't have any nanocarbon. I can't remember. There's a way of making nanocarbon, which is regolith, right? That's why I'm I'm actually glad we have that regolith. But the problem is we don't have any, um, we don't have the means of making storage. So we really need to fix that like as soon as possible. Um, let's sell a couple of these crust chunks. And I'll buy another research and design. Repair kit. So, like, I'm just going to say that if there is a very obvious way that I'm seeing or I'm not seeing for how to make storage containers, um, then that is kind of a interface problem. I know they exist and I was making them in the last one, but I'm not sure if the game didn't just like give me the ability to do that. It could be that it, the recipe is handed to me when completing a certain quest. We might need to make a blaster. And it could also be that part of that, that recipe is given to us via um, our tutorial, which I don't have right now. I, I do wonder if some of these recipes are supposed to be discovered, which would be an awful, awful idea. I, I actually truly hate that idea because the thing is is that these recipes are not intuitive they're they're just straight up not intuitive like no one's going to figure out that putting two nanocarbon and one electronics and an energy cell together is going to give you a green plasma saber like that that's not a commonplace concept right we have advanced robotics that's great um let's work on regolith so i can get some more nanocarbon and then maybe I can make a green plasma saber. Um, why? Uh, honestly, just so that we have some kind of defense, nanocarbon, electronics, and energy cell. Uh, electronics and energy cell. Okay. So, and like, here's the thing. I know that uh, I know you know I know that uh, people are enjoying this game, and I think that this is like I say a good follow up to Stacklands. It's got that same. It scratches that same itch for sure of like a game, you know, like a simple game that lets you kind of like grind for resources and survive and progress. And it has like almost like a little bit of a, a colony sim um, vibe, but it's also got a little bit of an RPG vibe. And there's some interesting uh, progression in this game. And, uh, you know, fighting things is fun and stacking things is fun. And all of that is fun. Um, no complaints here for any of that. Let's make some more drones. Plasteel electronics and energy cell. Plasteel. We need another electronics, so I'm gonna have to process some plasteel into electronics. You know, no complaints uh, on any of that. I, my complaint really is that I think that this one is just, you know, straight up more inaccessible um, for learning. And I don't think that that, it, that um, for any good reason really like if you are looking for another stacklands experience and you 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 want to jump into something um i think that this one's got good gameplay but i think that there's just going to be this like very unnecessary learning curve for like oh well what what do i do with nanocarbon i know what i do with a rock and i know what i do with, with iron i know how to like smelt iron into steel and get that but i don't know what nanocarbon is and i have no idea what i'm supposed to do with it um Okay, so we've got our set another drone. We just need another drone to process some materials. And actually, another drone would be a good idea as well. 
We're gonna have to sell a bunch of stuff. I guess one benefit to stacking the energy cells is that uh, they take up less space. So there you go. That's a good reason for energy cells to stack and, and turn into a new card. Okay, uh, I guess we'll have to sell some of these ore deposits, which sucks a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, we need to sell six more cards, and this is purely because I don't know how to make the stupid storage container. I'm going to end up looking it up, and actually I will do that just now. Okay, so it turns out I, I'm pretty sure I have to just keep doing research and design. We have been attacked by a space mouse. Should be fine. Uh, he attacked one of my um, resources. That's fine. Um, all right, so why don't you go ahead and do some regolith, and we'll have you on chunk. It's crust chunk. So we got blade drone, purple plasma uh, saber, and drone mark one so here's another uh, issue i have a little bit with this game is that you can get duplicate ideas um from buying these booster packs just don't do that <laughs> like why i i don't understand that like we we get some of the money back but it just kind of like uh, wastes the player's time a little bit um so yeah like we've got you know m these two ideas back again um this idea strength is interesting nano carbon so four nanocarbon, that's a very valuable resource and in plus steel. Um, all right, well, that's that's cool. Um, just looking for that storage container. Cloning vet, endurance, laptop, nanocarbon electronics. What does that do, I wonder? It, I'm actually interested in that. Um, hold on, quests, ideas. Uh, refinery. This scroll just straight up does not work for me. Research laptop. Use it to generate simple but unique ideas. Um, that seems kind of cool. We could we could try that. I, I uh, could do that. Let's see how we do that. Nanocarbon electronics. Do we have any nanocarbon? I guess we're about to get some. We got some regolith, which is nice. Okay, so... Um, and then we throw our uh, i accidentally messed that up okay so we'll make a laptop these uh one thing i do appreciate is a lot the ideas will auto sell which is kind of nice i wonder if we can we have um do we have to have an astronaut on this or can we, we can use the drone as well apparently well that's kind of cool um we got some more biomass i've been selling the biomass but i think it's actually useful for something we got some we got tons of ore deposits still don't have the storage container so that's kind of a problem uh, and it's the end of the day so now we're gonna have to sell a bunch of stuff i mean it's it's fine i'm not gonna sell the regolith maybe we can get away with keeping some of that um i have noticed that these uh, multi cells have like a certain amount of energy to give up but they their cost doesn't go down so if you want to cheese the game and i don't necessarily recommend it but you can just like um if you see a, a multi-cell that only has one charge left in it you could just sell it for the full cost um so we have three more cars i guess i'll have to sell one of these regoliths and we'll sell a helium three even though that's it's pretty valuable all right Finish quest, reach soul six. We got one plasteel, yay. Let's see what we get from this uh, laptop. I'm curious about that for sure. We got a drill, so it just gives us new ideas. Learn 20 ideas. Um, the drill is interesting. It just it gives us a renewable supply of stuff. Three plasteel, nanocarbon, and energy cell. I'm pretty sure I accidentally made the drill which leads me to an uncomfortable um, maybe realization about this game is that you can learn, you can, you know, uh, make, make things before you have the recipe for them. Um, and I just don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it, I guess it's fine, nice that you're not gated, uh, you know, but like at the same time you end up in this situation. Also, what does that foundation make? Keep stacks in place, snaps to grid when placed. Okay, that's kind of neat. But you need an assembly line. Oh, uh, maybe the, the, I don't think the assembly line gets used up, but you make, you need plasteel and nanocarbon. We do have ourselves a blaster. The blaster is nice. It's um, plasteel, one plasteel and energy cell. We can definitely do that. And one energy cell. 
And I don't even think we need anything else. Yeah, okay. So we've got ourselves a blaster. We can uh, turn our astronaut into a blaster. And maybe we should uh, work on making a new clone. Um, cloning vet. I think we just throw our astronaut on the cloning vet and then we'll have another. No, that doesn't seem to be it. Hold on. Cloning vet allows cloning of astronauts. I don't know. You know, when in doubt, throw an energy cell on it. No, multi cell. No. Okay. Um, maybe we throw the cloning vet on the astronaut. Nope. All right. Well, you know what? Um, when in doubt, I'm going to. It looks like we have all of the ideas from this research and design, which is a real problem. Because oh, wait, unknown cards five. Never mind. Okay, it's at, it's at the bottom that it tells you how many unknown cards there are. Drill more stuff that we've gotten before already um yeah i mean at this point i might just like like open up the game uh on my computer and do the tutorial again to find out what the storage container is give me one second okay it's uh i've, I've found it we need to make plasteel and uh it's one plasteel and one nanocarbon i believe so <clears throat> I, I don't like I don't want to use this as like an I told you so or anything like that. Oh god So now we're over the card limit again If so, yeah, I gotta sell a bunch of cards and they're all good. Let's sell the first aid kit And let me see if any of these got used up so we can sell this multi cell for some more money We'll sell the green saber Sell a couple of nanocarbon and I still have to sell three more cards. So we'll do one nanocarbon. Oh and the bio Let's get rid of the biomass All right, perfect um, all right, so it's one plus steel one nano nanocarbon and um, an astronaut Yeah, okay, so um That was revealed to me in the tutorial and I think that this like like I said I don't want to use this as an, as an I told you so but I do think that if I can't figure out how to make a storage crate without the game explicitly telling me to then maybe um, may maybe the, the, the recipes are a little bit unintuitive. And I don't know what the solution is for that, but I do I would say that if um, if someone is not playing with the tutorial, then you should just like give the player all of the recipes, even the ones that they haven't discovered, if they are immediately accessible. And I, was, I did notice that in um, like while I was trying to figure out what the storage container was that like I was able to make a blaster without having the recipe for the blaster. So like you can make things without having the recipe and I just really wear, worry that um, the dev believes that that is a um, like, I don't know, a fun form of discoverability in the game. And I just want to say that objectively, no, that is not true. It's not a fun form of discoverability because there's no way that the player should know to discover these things. There's something, you know, like there's something to be said in the games about discover like experimentation, but um, it, it, you know, experimentation has to come some from some form of um, curiosity, right? And my curiosity, I, I'm not going to be curious about like how, what if I put two nanocarbons with like three plasteel? What happens then? Because that's not intuitive and it doesn't really make sense. Like it, it has to come from like some kind of grounded reality. You know, like what happens when I put fire and water together is some kind of grounded reality because I know that in real life when I do that, um, I get steam or, you know, if something happens, there's a, uh, a very like universally understood concept there. But there's no universal uh, concept when it comes to like how does plasteel and nanocarbon interact, at least not for me. I, if this is something that is like that is used in real life, uh, and I'm willing to believe that it is, and I'm just very ignorant of it. Um, it's not something that a day-to-day -day person would would necessarily know and would apply to a game because like, you know, how much plasteel and how much nanocarbon and how much energy is going to interact with all of that. But anyway, with all of that said and done, let's um, let's cut to the chase a little bit here. I still have more thoughts, by the way. That was just like the interface stuff. Um, there, I, I still like have other things in mind um, for this game. Now, let me see how many unknown. 
I, I kind of wish it would just tell me how many unknowns. Like, I don't need to know what it gives me. Unknown card. Okay. So we're still um, playing this gotcha game to try and uh, learn if there are any more unknown cards here. And I don't... I, I, th I think so. I don't think I learned anything new there. Unknown cards three. I don't think there's any benefit to learning these either. Like, like I say, you can't... Oh, there's the storage crate. Ha. Ha ha ha. Oh god, all right. Well, you know All right, so the storage crate is accessible. Um, you, you do, like absolutely the player is going to want to know that one as soon as possible And I do I would I, I guess I knowing that it's it is actually in the game in the first um, like Booster pack I would say that it is not intuitive to know that anyway i don't know like the fact that i can make it before i find the research for it i, I like i don't i really don't know about that like it's i guess it rewards a player that like has these um blueprints memorized but are we i, I don't know how i feel about rewarding the player for memorizing some of these blueprints it's just a weird that's a, that's a weird one to me Okay, so you know what? I got unlucky enough that storage the, the the blueprint for the storage crate was like the last one here. So uh you know what? Fair enough. That's gonna happen. Um We are we've got a but a lot more room. I haven't even gotten to like some of the major stuff in this game yet. Uh alright. So here's here's combat. We haven't really talked about combat because it hasn't really come up yet. It is a little bit different from Stacklands. My astronaut here, he's got a ranged weapon. So actually like placing him far away from, from you know, enemies is a good idea because then he can shoot them from afar. I'm going to assume that the game has uh, ranged enemies at a certain point. And, um, it, you know, that, that means that like having them ranged is not just going to be the catch-all win. Um, but for now it, it is. Um, I just want to double check. We are we are on top of our energy problems. I think I want to start doing advanced robotics unless there's like anything left in here Which I have to wait until it tells me at the very bottom of the entire list I just okay. We have one more. I don't think I want to I don't think I care I think we've got everything we need So we've got these robo arms and robo grabs and I don't I, I got these in my last like little like in my tutorial session like just trying to learn the game and i didn't get to the point where i knew what to do with these um you know what let's try and get rid of some of this helium uh just a little bit we we could you know get make some more energy cool all right we got some multi cells let's see let's have a look at our quests uh, build an assembly line. Yeah, we should do that. Okay, hold on. Assembly line is three plus steel, electronics, and energy cell. Three plus steel. We don't have any electronics because I haven't been making it. I, that was another thing I found kind of weird is that you can just like turn plus steel into electronics, but plus steel is also necessary. So you could just like a, as a player like accidentally turn all of your plus steel into something else and then you know be stuck with electronics when they're not necessarily always what you need uh, i guess this is you know you could say this is a, a balance that you have to strike as the player research station i will say the laptop is isn't you know like i really want to i really want to give the game some credit and say like some of these mechanics are actually uh interesting and they're they're a good uh addition to this format but here's my problem, right? The laptop is a great idea. I like it a lot, actually. Um, it, it was added to stack lands sort of in the late stages, but it was very specific. Like you could only research um, automation based cards um, and they were very late stage to the game. I like the idea that you as the player eventually start l researching your own ideas and you have to kind of grind them out um, instead of just like, buying booster packs i find the act of bu buying booster packs to be one of the least interesting aspects of stack lands so i do actually like the idea of kind of navigating away from that a little bit and instead um relying on your your own you know like uh, balancing resources and making up uh, enough things um you know like maybe enough laptops and enough drones that you could actually start researching your own ideas and your own blueprints that puts a 
agency back on the player and, and also puts the the sort of the weight of um of learning new ideas back onto the uh the balancing act of of maintaining your resources and so it's like more on you know like it's it's more weighted towards the actual design of the game rather than just like buying booster packs buying booster packs is fun and all but after a while i found it, it kind of got like you know it, it's not very interesting it's uh it fulfills a very specific like um dopamine hit of like yay what am i gonna get but like after a while i thought that it, it didn't really do much for the actual design of the game oh we can turn four multi cells into a mega cell did not know that all right so you can you can continue to combine uh cells into into more cells interesting um okay so we made ourselves an assembly line the assembly line is used for crafting certain things what do we need to do next build and use a rover i definitely think that that would be a good idea let's do that um we're gonna go to a rover over here which is three nanocarbon energy cell astronaut okay so first of all we need three nano uh you know what the, uh did i make a drill i don't think i did we need a drill three plasteel we don't have any plasteel we don't have anything right now actually uh three plasteel and one nanocarbon we need more resources um, let's sell one of these robo grabs. I need to do uh, some let's mine. There we go. Perfect. The crust chunk is a uh, is a good you know deliverer deliverer of of resources. We got a lot of resources from those actually. Um, all right, and then let's uh, let's delegate our drone over to this. I, I could make more drones, by the way, but I'm just deciding not to for now. Okay, um, yeah, we're getting lots of stuff, which is good. Now, uh, if we want to make a... We can make a research station. Research station, use it to generate advanced, unique ideas. Again, I actually really like the idea of the game kind of, um, you know putting putting a little bit more pressure on the uh actual mechanics of the game rather than like relying on the booster packs i think that that's that's a good idea um but the, i guess my reservation is the fact that you can like discover i don't know i I'm, I'm gonna stop um like harping on the fact that you can discover recipes on your own it's it's probably like it really doesn't matter i guess um we're gonna make a drill we need three plasteel one nanocarbon in an energy cell. So we got our three plus steel, one nanocarbon. And um, where is our drill? Energy cell and an astronaut. I've, I have accidentally made other things from like basically fat fingering um, recipes. Like I, I was trying to make one recipe and I just put it in the, in the wrong order. Where I put like one thing out of order and uh, it ended up making something else. Okay, so they're gonna destroy my energy cell, but I want to I want to kill that space mouse. I did. I don't know if this was a bug, but I did kill a space mouse at one point and got like 30, uh, 30 credits. So it's interesting to me. It's always credits when you want to go for a sci-fi uh, currency. It's always credits. Um, okay, we're gonna. We want another drone. I, I want to make some blade drones at some point, but we're going to make some... I guess if I... We could try making a blade drone and see how they perform on, like, tasks. So this assembly line plasteel electronics. We need to make some electronics out of plasteel. Okay, so we've got one of those. So then we need uh, assembly line plasteel electronics. And a energy cell. So, okay, you know, I'll, I'll take it back. Um, I, I guess it doesn't matter too much that the energy cells axe um, will automatically craft. As long as you have a couple of uh, drones on solar panels, then it doesn't matter too much because um, they're just like, you're always going to have at least an, a, an energy cell. If you had to like make a lot of stuff with energy cells, then it might be a problem, but you don't really have to do that. So, so we're at the 40 minute mark here and um you know i've been talking a little bit about the mechanics i think what you know what is intuitive about it what i like about it i think that like ultimately i do think that this is a good follow-up as i say to Stacklands. 
but I I cannot finish this um, let's try without talking about um, uh, or at least like a criticism I have of the game is um, you know though the theming is different and though the combat is different I do think that this game just feels like Honestly, I really just think aesthetically it looks like a carbon copy of Stacklands. And you know, I think like I tried to talk to the dev about this and like you you know you're like a lot of people are going to look at the interface that you've gone for here and see that it is very deliberately a carbon copy of Stacklands. And even if your gameplay is different, that's fine, but people are only going to discover that if they're playing the game, if they actually go out of their way and 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 try the game and like i'm willing to do that i would like to see that so what a short range remote controlled light attack drones runs on on just two double a batteries so these are just attack drones can they perform anything no so they are just attack drones but it didn't it looks like we didn't get anything like we didn't lose anything for making those it's an interesting idea but i don't know if i would how many dr blade drones i would endeavor to make um yeah, I, I really like I just think that um, from an outsider perspective people are gonna get the wrong impression. Oh my god. Old guy What is this? Old guy Korkoi <laughs> And a UFO. The UFO is like I, I got a hundred health here. You're calling prepare to defend yourself. It's a good thing. I made these uh, blade drones Okay um, I, I, One little criticism I have is I don't know when the game is paused Uh, it's also not obvious to me when I've put things in a combat. So we're going to have our astronaut shooting from afar and we have our blade drones attacking this thing. I have to assume that this thing does have an attack. Well, why are these guys not attacking him? Okay, so right. We do have attacks. Oh, uh, my one of my drones was killed. That's fine. Uh, all of our drones were destroyed. That's fine. I wonder if I can do a repair kit on the nuts and bolts. No. Was destroyed. I wonder if there's anything we do with these nuts and bolts. Cool. So, um, I never did figure out how to clone. But our dude here is like, got some crazy, uh, uh, stats now. Yeah, so, like, I... I I think that this game does do things differently enough that it is uh, a worthy successor or at least a, a worthy, you know, it, it isn't just a copy of Stacklands. I think that some of the differences actually hurt it in some ways. Um, but I think the thing that hurts the game the most when it comes to uh, first impressions is really just the interface. Because the interface really does just feel like a carbon copy of Stacklands. And I don't think to much benefit. Like, I actually think that there are things about Stacklands that could be improved. Like, I think that some of the UI interface could be cleaned up a little bit. Like, you could have a better kind of journal. Um, I, I actually really always hated this, like, little top left quest thing because it's it's such a pain to, like, look up things. Um, I think that you could have a bit more of a visual interface when it comes to looking up ideas and, uh, and like, recipes and stuff like that. Um, you know, like, you could actually, if you, like, typed in a recipe or something, you could actually see a visual of like all of the ingredients you need which is uh, for some people like myself included a much better way of retaining that kind of information is like seeing the visual of those things um i think that the this is like arrangement of the booster packs up here uh, like it, it didn't feel necessarily super good in Stacklands, and i don't think it feels good here either um we bought, i bought more robotics Still don't know what to do with these robo arms we should i should probably like endeavor to find out more advanced recipes uh reach for the stars oh yeah there's a whole bunch of new stuff here so we can like try and produce an obtainium and a reactor and there's actually quite a lot of stuff going on in this game um which you know i i, I would i would like to find them out um i don't even know like maybe like who knows if this becomes a very popular let's try maybe i'll do my own series of stack uh, space stacks um i i recommended 
to the dev like hey you could definitely do a couple things differently and then the game wouldn't feel so similar um and then, you know like you'll you'll find more people willing to try your game if it doesn't feel like it's a copy and I'm, I'm not gonna throw the dev under the bus um like i don't i don't want this to be a contention or anything like that but i will say and uh, to an argument uh here is that they compared stacklands to cultist simulator as a as a like you know comparison for like a game feeling influenced by another game i think that if anyone has played both cultist simulator and stacklands they would know just how like completely different those two games are and how completely not the same they play at all and also even if stacklands was like even if um the dev of stacklands like the, the sock um, sock pop dev came out and said like yeah i was hugely influenced by cult of simulator and stacklands was a very much an answer to that most people would say yeah that's cool i mean stacklands doesn't play anything like it and it's still a really good game and and like I didn't like Cultist Simulator. Like I truly did not like that game. And I obviously played the absolute, you know, heck out of Stacklands. So I just think that the, you know, there's there's influence and then there is like impressions of like someone trying to no no offense c c cash in on a concept. I don't think that that's this is happening here. I think that the dev is actually quite genuine in their uh wanting to make something that is influenced but like i say i think that my criticism is purely from a first impressions basis and i think that um there could definitely be work done here to to differentiate um i think that there could be some quality of life features added to this that would would differentiate it now i know that the dev has said that this is a hobby project and that's fine um you know obviously a lot of work has gone into this uh, so I really like I'm just saying that if we are trying to turn this into something a bit more like I don't know a contender like a, a game that is trying to um, actually compete and and you know make people want to play it and is something that people want to buy um, more than just a hobby project then then these are like my contentions so so that, that's 50 minutes of me talking and rambling and hopefully some of that is coherent and hopefully not all of it is insulting um, because like, you know, I, I don't generally, you know, speak directly to a dev uh, when it comes to playing their game. Um, but like, ultimately I do like this game and I actually wouldn't mind playing more of it. Um, but I, I definitely had like first impression problems with it and I definitely have some interface problems with it and I definitely have some accessibility problems with it but um, I would be willing to get past all of those because I do actually think that this is a, a decent game. So with all of that said, um, what do you think of it? Uh, maybe you could let me know in the comments. Uh, space Stacks. Space Stacks or Stacks Space? Space Stacks. No, it's Stacks Space. I got it wrong, okay. Um, if you enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.